Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make a mod24 counter using 4026. So let's get started. For mod24 counter we need two piece of seven segments common cathode display. Then we need two piece of 4026 IC and one piece of 7408 IC. Now see one thing here. This one is once display and this one is tense display. Its common pin is connected to ground and also for this. Now this display has seven inputs A, B, C, D, E, F, G and A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we have to connect these inputs to the IC through 330 ohm resistor so we need 7 and 7 so total of 14 resistor and all these values are 330 ohms now see the pin numbers of this connection A is connected to pin number 10 B is connected to 12 C is connected to 13 D is connected to pin 9 E is connected to pin 11 F is connected to pin 6 and G is connected to pin 7 and it's pin 1 is connected to pin 5 of this IC and both the pin 15 are connected together and pin number 15 is connected to ground through 1 kilo ohm resistor its pin 3 and 16 both are connected together and then these are connected to plus VCC and also pin 2 and 8 both are connected together and these are connected to ground for this IC also its pin 14 is connected to plus VCC and the pin number 7 is connected to ground Its pin number 6 is connected to pin number 15 of this both IC so we have to connect it this pin number 7 is connected to pin number 5 of 7408 its pin number 6 is connected to pin number 1 of 7408 and its pin number 7 is connected to pin number 2 of 7408 its pin number 3 and 4 both are connected together this pin number 1 is clock input pin so we have to provide clock pulse to this pin with a push to one switch and the other side of the switch is connected to plus VCC. Now we have to connect one resistor of 1 kilo ohm and then it is connected to ground and again we have to connect another resistor that we have to connect one LED with it and then it is connected to ground. The value is 220 ohms. Here the plus VCC is plus 5 volt okay. So we will apply VCC as plus 5 volt. This is 4026 and it is second IC and it is 4026 it is first IC. Okay and here it is 7408. Okay so now you can see here the once digit is connected to first IC and the tenth digit is connected to second IC. Now let's see this on the breadboard. Now put both the display. Here is the second 4026 and it is the first 4026 and this middle IC is 7408. Pin number 2 is connected to ground also the pin number 8 also for the first IC pin number 3 and 16 both are connected to plus VCC also for the first IC pin number 7 of 7408 is connected to ground and pin number 14 is connected to plus VCC. Common pin of the display is connected to ground. Now put all the 330 ohm resistors. Connect both the negative rail and also the positive rail. 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected between pin number 15 and ground and also pin number 1 is connected to ground through 1 kilo ohm resistor. Both the pin 15 is connected Pin number 7 of second IC is connected to pin number 5 of 7408. Pin number 7 of first IC is connected to pin number 2 of 7408. And pin number 6 of first IC is connected to pin number 1 of 7408. Pin number 3 and 4 both are connected together. Pin number 6 of 7408 is connected to pin number 15 of both the 4026. Now see one thing. This resistor is for segment A. This one for segment B, this one for C, D, E, 
F and G and like this this one for A B C D E F G okay resistor A is connected to pin number 10 B is connected to 12 C is connected to the 13 D is connected to pin 9 E is connected to pin 11 F is connected to pin 6 and G is connected to pin 7 and like this we have to do also for this now connect resistor A to the segment A resistor B to the segment B C is connected to C D is connected to D E is connected to the E F is connected to the segment F and G is connected to the segment G and like this we have to do for this ok now we need another breadboard pin number 1 is connected to one pin of the switch and other pin is connected to the plus VCC and then we have to connect one 220 ohm resistor to the pin number 1 anode of the LED is connected to the 220 ohm resistor and cathode is connected to the ground now the final connection pin number 5 of first IC is connected to the pin number 1 of second IC now put the power supply here is our negative and it is positive now whenever I provide clock pulse to the pin number 1 of first IC then the counter will increment it by 1 see here it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 after that the counter will reset okay so okay so this is our mode 24 counter and we'll use this counter to make a wall clock and I'll show you this thing in future videos okay now you can add one clock generation circuit with this before that just remove this switch and this is our clock generation circuit and I have already explained about this circuit in previous video link in the description below connect the positive rail and the negative rail now see it is generating the clock pulse now the only thing you have to do is just connect its pin number 3 to the pin number 1 of first IC so here is pin 3 is connected to pin 1 of the first IC now I am turning off my lights so you can see it better so this is how you can make a mode 24 counter so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video I'll show you another topic till then stay happy and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching